Welcome to MyCore MN user account, what users need to know. My name is Mai Yang and I am a training and development specialist with the judicial branch. Our objectives for today's session is that by the end of our training, you should be able to locate the MyCourt MN user account, register for a MyCourt MN user account, and also use a one-time code to access MyCourt MN user account. So the reason we're sharing this information with you today is that as of October 24th of 2022, the MyCourt MN users will need, a, will need to enter a one-time code to access the MyCourt MN account. So we will be using the psychological examiner's resource application as an example for today's training. And how to get to MyCourt MN account, we are going to go to www.https. Um, era.courts.mn.us. When you are on this page, you are going to click log in at the top right hand corner. And this is going to take you into your MyCore MN user account. If you have not yet registered for an account or you do not have an account, you are going to click on not registered yet, click here. You are going to put in your email address. You are going to create a password. Again, re-enter your password, enter your first name, last name. Your middle name is gonna be optional for you. And then you are going to want to enter a phone number. This is going to be where you select how to access or how you are going to receive your one-time code. You can either do it by email or you can do it via text. Once you select your preference, you are going to click register. When you click register, it will populate for you to go and look at your email. You are going to go into your personal email account. You are going to receive a MyCore MN account activation email. You are going to open up this email and then click here to activate your account. Now, once you click there, it should automatically take you back into your uh, MyCore MN account. For any reasons at all, if it shuts down on you, the way that mine has here, that it has shut down on me, you are gonna go back into the, um, you're gonna go back into your era.courts.mn.us account. And then that will then take you into logging in again. I am just going to open up mine again so I can get back in there because mine has shut down. So once I am back into my examiners, I am gonna go ahead and click log in again to take me back into my core and then log in. From here, you are going to want to enter your email address and then you are going to enter your password and click log in. Once you click log in, it is going to populate another window for you and here, on this window, it is going to ask you to enter your one-time code that you received either by email or by text. 
Now, on a special note is that if you already have an account set up for you, when you go in to log in, your one-time code will come by email for the first time. This is how we currently have this set up at this time for anyone who currently has an account. I will show you how to change this, rep this preference um, later in this training, but once you enter the code, you are going to click on verify code. So I am going to enter my information. Click log in. And it is asking me for my code. So. Once I've entered in my code, I am going to click verify code. And then this will take you into your application once you verify this code. It is gonna take you into your application the way that it normally has before. If you would like to change your preference where you do not receive it by email or if you were receiving it, if you select a phone number and that phone number no longer belongs to you and you want to change this preference, you can definitely change this preference by clicking on this drop down arrow. You are going to select My Core MN Settings. And in the My Core MN Settings, you can then change your preference. You can do it either by, again, by email or by text, and then just click Save. This green bar will populate to let you know is that your profile has been updated successfully. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and just click cancel. Um, and then it will then again take you back into your dashboard for you. Now, I do want to let you know is that if the one time code will need to be entered once a week, depending on when you started that week, um, you will be required to enter it once a week. If at any time you are using a new laptop or computer, or if you are using your same laptop and computer at a different location, for example, you used it one day at your work location, and then the next day you are working from home and you are using it at your home location, you will be required to enter that one-time code again. If you are having issues and you have already entered your one-time code and you are still not able to get in, you are going to want to submit a ServiceNow ticket request. And how to submit a ServiceNow ticket request? I am just going to go ahead and shut all of my information down and open a brand new window to allow me to get back into the beginning. From this beginning page, if you have done that already and it has not worked for you, you can click on technical support requests right down at the bottom down here. If you click on this technical support request, it is going to bring up a technical support contact form. Please complete all of the required information. Confirm by checking this box that you've received an error or message and have a screenshot in case our service desk may contact you for that screenshot. You are going to want to confirm that you are not a robot by checking this box and then submit your request by hitting send your message. Our technical support team will, will reach back out to you to try to determine what is causing the issue and why you are able to not log in. Resources that are going to be available to you. Um, the resources is going to be on a, a quick reference guide called My Court MN User Account. And how to locate that. I am going to bring you out to our external um, website 
um, for the judicial branch. This is going to be the public website that we currently use and the one that you will also utilize. If you click on help topics, you are going to scroll down until you find your application. And again, we are using the psychological examiner's resource program. We are going to go into era training and then training resources available to us. There is a quick reference guide for creating a MyCore MN account. If we click into that, that will then bring up the MyCore MN account for you to use the quick reference guide for you to utilize and help you walk through the registration and then also walk through for the one time code if you are struggling with that piece. And that does conclude our training today. I do want to thank you for joining me for the MyCore MN user account. If you do have any questions, please definitely let us know.